I would like to discuss the recent trends in deep learning, which this topic is belong to like a course on machine learning and deep learning belong to NPTEL examination as well as the gate exam preparation. So you have to consider the few important point. First one is the PCA. PCA reduces the dimensionality by removing the features. Okay. Similarly, PCA finds the new axis. It is known as principal components that capture the maximum variance. Do remember what is auto encoder. Auto encoder which comprises of encoder plus bottleneck and decoder. Bottleneck layer is nothing but which compresses the latent representation. Also, it will extract the useful information and features. Reconstruction losses used and the rela relation to PCA. PCA is a special case of linear auto encoder. Similarly, J G A N gener generative ad uh, like uh, adversarial network. Two models. One is generator and uh, discriminator. Other one is generator which creates the fake data. Discriminator classify real versus fake. The issue is mode collapse is a main challenge. G A N is a big compute training is very expensive. RNN recurrent neural network which is used for the sequential and time series data. Uh, for example, speech data, text data, stock, etc. Vanishing gradient happens because multiplying uh, many small values over long sequence. What is UNET? Based on the image segmentation, for example, medical image, uh, like a contracting path, similarly expensive path, skip connections, and preserve fine details and help the gradient flow. So, for the MCQ exam preparation, you have to refer the table. PCA, low variance removed and removing the least variance features. GIN discriminator, real versus fake classifier, classify the real or first. RNN problem, long sequence and repeated multiplication, small value. Auto encoder bottleneck, that means like a feature encoder and which extract the useful features. Similarly, RNN application uh, like a sequence data and a time uh, series processing. Unit skip, that is detail retention and preserve fine details. GIN limitation, expensive to train and computationally very expensive. Unit is actually contracts path and a contracting path. GN challenge collapse model model collapse mode collapse auto encoder advantages works for the last data and or you can consider uh, the right answer then uh, how does PCA reduce dimensionality number one uh, removing the features that contribute the least variance what is the major objectives of discriminant in a GAN uh, that is to classify the real from the generated data in RNN what is the primary reason uh, for the vanishing gradient. Primary reason is repeated multiplication of small values over the long sequence. In auto encoder, what is the bottleneck layer responsible for? That is extracting the encoding useful features. Similarly, why skip the connections of unit? That is creating the shortcut for gradient uh, flow and preserving the free gradient details. Similarly, please 